shortest of all stacks will belong to the American Seth Davies, 770,000. And there is the prize pool, a total of 6 million euros collected from the crew. Eight places were paid. Your eighth place finisher was Michael Soiza. 20K and 30K, no limit, where he finished seventh and 10th respectively. But no short deck caches so far. That's gonna change. Only thing hanging in the balance, just how big will that cache be? What do you call those? Pocket rockets? Aces for Tony G. As Richard and Badzi Akuski limped in front of him. And he's going to send it up. Oh. Oh. You got to remember, he just saw Tony raise and just check fold last hand. So he might be like, this guy's getting out of line. What if Danny just rips it in? You could certainly see a world in which there's some temptation to do so, wow. but dang, fight's clean. Perhaps keeping in mind the ICM. Yeah, huh? exactly that. It's not mine? Okay. Yep. Normally you would be just reshipping this in, but Tang, Nolan expert, understands these ICM spots. Oh, yeah. A lot of guys just go bust right there. <laughs> Still some danger for boards that can really crush one of these guys. That is King, a board Queen, where you lose some and, more. Yeah. Tank's not gonna be able to find an escape hatch on this texture and look at Tony G. Slipping him a little rope. Mm-hmm. Also pot controls it a bit, right? You don't wanna be up you could be up against King Queen. See both guys are very cautious. They're not like I Oh no. Oh, no. oh god, this is bad. Tony checking a second time, but it's going to be tough for Tang to bite, I think. Yeah, wow. because the context in which Tony opened this pot does skew towards strength. One million. Can Danny fold this? Holding the King of Diamonds? Like, top two? Your opponent might have the same hand. We're about to find out. This would be a sick laydown. As Tony's open. Same hand, same hand. Tony. Cleared the field. He didn't open, he raised, hand. rather. Or are you just going and crazy? Just call and chop it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was a good have, one. We don't have the same hand. Just call and chop it. I don't know. You say this, we don't have the same hand already. And, and you win. Huh? Call and win. No, now you're talking me into calling. You do what you like. But how can I fold this? Oh my it's god, good read. what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Good read. Why are you, you going ballistic? Go with... With... Why are you going ballistic with 10 jack? I hope you just have a set and you just cool with me like this. I just wow. check, double check with such a sick hand already. <laughs> How can I fold this? Why have you bet one minute? Ah, oh, I should listen. Oh, Oh, and chop it up. Oh, that's such a, that's such a joke. You don't have, we don't have a chopping arm. Uh, but I don't think I'm good enough to fold this. Up to you. I don't know. I don't know if, if I win or lose. I honestly don't. Oh, now you're just talking. That, this is all crap now. <laughs> the first line was an important line. Call and chop it up then. Hmm. You have a set. You have a set of queens. No. Make a free under pre. So scared. You don't make free under pre with queens, do you? Why? For what? Raise free under to fold? No. So you have what? Aces and kings? I blocked both of them. <laughs> oh god. I'm not good enough, Tony. Ah, uh, man. Oh, alright, alright. Yeah, it's like, it's sick. Amen.
Ace king. I mean, you, you save a lot of money by Ace not. King. I mean, I, I put you on kings or queens as well. <laughs> like, I don't even have cigarettes to blame, but you can just make sure the ambulance follows us instead of a Tour de France <coughs> camera crew. As we see, Badzi Akuski laying a bit of a trap in the cutoff with the two red kings. Tony G actually has a king, unfortunately for him. Checks back and is unimproved on the ace nine six board. He does have the gut shot straight draw working, of course. One over card to the two red kings. Bats will start off with the check. And a king of clubs for dessert as well. Gonna knuckle back all of his king seven, king eight type holdings. One of those spots for bats where you feel like you have to call one. You're playing a guessing game on a lot of turns against the 100% range of Tony, although it's safe to assume that you can remove the stronger portions of Tony's range, such as ace-king, aces, ace-queen. But Tony, certainly with a range advantage when it comes to straights on the board. And Speaking of straights, how about straights on the turn? Yeah, that eight of spades binks Tony G as he gets there. Ace, of course, for those just joining us or just taking up short deck for the first time. Serves as a five on the wraparound. Note that Tony chose to check back on the turn. Deceptive. That's frisky. In some ways, it's going to have over 7.5 million of the chips in play. Maybe more if Bats... Comes out firing, unlikely, does knuckle the kings, plenty of showdown. Patiakowski mm. with an already impressive resume here in Madrid. Facing the 400k bet as Tony can check no longer, holds. Haven't been there for a round, but five six years now uh, yeah you're out there in thailand socking away pad thai coconut juice oh yeah yeah a real premium on that juice once it leaves the thai borders yeah talking of premiums the uh the markup on dragon fruits in the rest of the world it's absolutely insane like 25 30 dollars a pop i'd say dragon fruit's one of the most overrated fruits it is on but Earth. Still. it is a patea i think they also call it it is a tasteless exotic looking anyway zali do you know what else is exotic six ways to a flop on a final table of 100k the sultan of segway henry kilbane well played oh, man. thank you very much King, Queen, Jack, coordinated board here. Bad Ziakuski, bottom pair, bad end of the gutter. Top and bottom pair for Tony G behind him. And then it is top two pair for Richard Young. 250. Tony betting into five players. With a hand that feels like... Wants to... Well, it's a hand that's going to feel like a foot once Richard Young gets into yeah. the weeds here with them as they are the only two remaining. I mean, look, we're diving into uncharted waters here, right? This is a very intricate part of the game tree. Six ways to a flop. And uh, with that queen on the turn, Richard fills up and leaves Tony drawing dead to a chop. Tony could get himself in trouble here if he feels like Richard's potentially slow played a straight on the flop. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. The jack on the river now giving Tony G jacks full of kings. And as played, he may take a queen out of the equation for Richard Young. And if he does so, he'll be ill-served. But the action currently rests with Richard. So take that out. back. Come out with a block. Just leaving himself enough for him to be able to block fold, right? He's losing to kings. Any queen, king, queen. It's not like he's sat here with the stone nuts. 
Trying to get oh, yeah. value from, you know, ace-jack, jack-10. And Richard's going to rip it in there, and now Tony's got to decide how much queen X or better is in his range. We block the pocket kings. We have a jack ourselves. Oh. And wow, and a Tony call. didn't make a meal of it, just clicks call, and that is the first big, big blow that we have seen to the chip oh, leader fold. in quite Good some fold. time. Well, it's better than not asking. <laughs> True. Fair. I mean, not that if they said no, I would be like, okay, I respect that. I'd be like, ooh, regret to inform you that that was more just a polite moment there that I was having with you. I'm going to share it anyway. Well, I regret to inform the Ike Haxton fans out there. Oh, yeah. Because there is a very good chance that Hollywood Haxton is going to be going out in sixth and... Yeah, again, just to hit it home on the fold from Stephen Chidwick there. 25 antis in a dream when there are people willing to get it in that have you covered. Could potentially earn you 110,000 euros. So Queen Jack in bad shape against Ace Queen, but does pick up a gut shot straight good. draw. That's good flop. Good on flop. the King 9 6 I think I got it. 40%. 37% the equity for Ike from this point forward. That's bad. On the turn, it's an 8. Still feel good about it. No help to it Axton, a 3 to 1 dog with 1 to come in this massive 3.85 million chip pot, which would put him in third if he can hit a 10. Seven us once. Nope. Good luck. Look good. Jack right. would have worked as well. Good point. Unfortunately, we Isaac Axton will have a date. With a sixth place payout. All right, let's go, boys. Uh, Asking for a spin. Danny Tang, four. ready to go with 10 9 off, just 60. Nine innies to Xiao start. Peng -you. <coughs> <Xiao -peng -you. sighs> Even less, it was sub six antis, wasn't it? Just don't have me dead on the flop, please. Okay. Not asking for much. <laughs> Seven eight jack. Uh, Wait, well, diamond, right? oh god. How's that for a start, Mr. Tang? Now it, Tony. You have all the chips. You take it. All right. You're blocking the diamond. Are diamonds. you sincere? We're not blocking. Are you sincere about this? Yeah. Please give a ten. Sweat. <laughs> Danny, right. flop the joint. Oh, ten would have been. Needs to fade. Out. Hi, the ace, queen, and six what do you say? diamonds. Nine of diamonds would give him the straight flush. Three hours. Can he do it? Right. He can. Brutal. What a flop. Or six. He's butchering anything. Fades the three hounds twice. Resilient shorty as Danny Tang stack rides the roller coaster. Hold on. Straight into it. Danny Tang. Two jacks. Rip City. Two tens for Stephen Chidwick, the other shorty. 1.220. He's got Danny covered. Could secure that 150k pay jump, potentially. Maybe, you know, if you're up against Ace-9 suited, for example, Ace-10. I think it's a fine lay down, given there's two guys act behind him. Ace-Queen will be looking him up, I'm pretty sure. We'll stick a big stack out there. Hey. Yeah, that's good. Give me a jack. Two overs. I had a jack. Yeah. No. Against the hooks. Doesn't matter. Stevie had an ace. Of course. Oh. Queen. Stevie folded ace queen. No. Well, how would you think so long? You're safe. Give me the case, Jack. 2.68 million chip pot. Uh, seven yeah, six. Badzi acoustic. Struggling hard. There's no even straight draws. No Binks. backdoor diamonds. Nothing. I just need the last jack. Case one. Yeah. Case jack. One? I had jack, jack eight. Yeah. Case jack. GG boys. Card. Pairs the board. Danny Tang issuing the GGs with good reason. Ace of clubs. You made the right lay down. On <laughs> the river. Makita with top two and right. Danny Tang. 
didn't even have a chance to digest the dinner break. Still pretty short, Randy, just under 30 annies despite doubling. As yeah. Tony poses the question to the field, a couple of tens on the button for Stevie off of this newly minted and deeper stack. This is a, you must go of it. You're sitting oh, on the floor. This guy's been raising way too often. Oh, yeah. He's gonna raise ace rags. Okay, yeah, practically all in. Don't forget there's a little bit behind, Tony. 60K left back after Chidwick choosing to three bet. How much? Oh man, Tony G gonna draw a line in the sand here and Chidwick's range was presumably pretty narrow. Somewhat unfortunate for Tony to be sharing a 10 with him. Yeah, once you raise, it's too much chips in the middle. Still Speaking guess. of a lot of chips yeah. in the middle, 3.46 million chip pot. And the 10s are clear of the flop. Queen, 9-6. And under his breath, you hear Tony G say stupid. Lamenting perhaps his decision, although the arrival of the eight does present chop opportunities. A double gutter, seven or a jack. Ace for the clear win. Instead, it's a king, and that is exactly what Stephen Chidwick needed, and exactly what the rest of the field did not want to see. As we swap dealers and give you a peek at the payouts and the remaining chip counts. So we got a limp pot brewing up here. Queen Jack and King Six. And it's an all Tony G board as he flops trips up against two pair. Doesn't waste any time flicking a blackbird out there. A little stab. A really good flop for Richard Young's hand, actually. Yeah, Price was right for him to flick 100K out there and take this turn. And that turn doesn't rate to be of any concern to King Six, but it is unimproved. No heart. Oh, and look at the milksmanship here on Tony as the 300 on the turn gets called. And he fills up just in case there were any concerns, which there never were. Yeah, Tony's going big now once he hits his card. And look at the speed with which he's doing it, by the way. This kind of plays into Richard Young, who likes to play with pace. Tony's hoping that Richard Young has a queen. And there's no... Bluff catcher sentiments for that king six as it goes into the muck. Whispering those two little words with ace ten. Off of what is now the third place stack as Richard Young's double puts him in the chip lead ahead of Makita Badziakuski. Chidwick wakes up with two kings on the shorty. Oh my. And here we go. <sighs> One ace dead. Really bad spot here for Tony G, who exercised so much discipline with that Ace King suited. Off of 56 antis. One time Ace from space, huh? This would be a devastating blow. It is Chidwick at risk, however. In the lead. Three to two favorite, roughly going to the flop. 5.15 in the middle. And the Kings holding thus far. Man, Tony G's just not feeling it. Seven of clubs dims the lights even further for Tony G's ace 10. And the Kings have held on. Stephen Chidwick, so patient, so methodical, so thorough. Shipment with King nine. Man. I don't know about you, Randy, but I feel like I'd rather be calling off on the button off of 20 annies with King Queen than ripping it in with King Nine. Maybe that's just me. I know we favor being aggressive, seizing fold equity, but now 
Tony G finds himself a dog against Jack-10 suited. Chidwick snaps him on the button. 3.6 million in the middle. And can Tony G claw back some of those chips he passed along to Stevie? Doesn't look too likely on that flop. Top pair in a gutter for Stevie. Even further out in front. And Tony G showing off his pessimism. Oh. oh, not so fast, sir. He's already taken off the microphone. But look at this. It's a spade king. Double gutter and a flush draw for Chidwick. The 10 would work as well. So much for Tony to fade. 3.63 million hanging in the balance along with the fate of the one-time chip leader. Jack on the river. What? And kings and knives. Oh, I was confused. Will hold. Wow. He's queen suited. Trap city. Out against Jack seven. Oh, or king seven, but two kings, and suddenly Tony G roaring to life as he goes all in on the button, and he does so with the sort of pace that we typically see from Richard Young. And what will Richard make of this spot? This he is, is the big spot. stack. 3.8, I think. Call. Wow. Oh, oh, and he's going to make the call. We're going to play a huge one here. 8.16. Better get that cognac here quick. Tony G's tournament life hangs in the balance. Good news for him. He's out in front. 15% edge in terms of equity. Just shy of a 3-2 to two favorite. Heading to the flop. A diamond, followed by a 10 and an 8. Ace, queen, way behind now. Almost 3 to 1. We've seen some aces from space, as Tony would put them, roll off these stubs. This time, however, it's a 10 of diamonds, which gives Richard Young added outs. Big out. out. Eight in total that Tony G needs to fade with these two kings. Can he do it? He can. Ooh. As the kings, Jacks. The butchers of Baghdad. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, boss. He's okay. <laughs> it. Me and YouTube chat. I think we're, we're back on his side. Yeah. No, everybody's ready to be on the Tony G wagon again. Look at this. Oh. Jack ain't suited. Just rip it in. My God, this feels like uh, the product of some cognac, perhaps. As eight? a oh my God, you're pretty reckless Jack 8 suited rip. Fair to say. Bailey, we can win one each. Snap called. Dominated. How hard is this? It's hard to dominate the Jack 8. He's done it. We you know can't. what? I, I take it back. With Makita having mucked, obviously, the two short stacks behind him, he just was willing to spin it. And Richard Young with Ace 8, unfortunately, had Tony G dominated pre, but now needs an Ace. Board pairs on the turn. The gutter would be a chop. That heart Holy now elite. taking the ace of hearts I'm out of play. Ace of oh and the queen of Sorry. hearts gives Again. Tony G a flush. Hand I might hold on as he finishes the job he started on Richard Young. An unfortunate exit for the Triton co-founder. Tony. Yeah, he can move in here. Sure, Chidwick's got seven million, but he really can't call anything but aces. And Batsy Akuski <coughs> will take his chances with a queen ten. I'm kind of cheering for you. And you know why that might be? Nice hand, nice qualifier. Keeping the key around, jack, you know, allowing six jack. Tony G to go to work on Stevie's middle Tuzo stack. Tuzo. Tuzo. All smiles from Tony right now. <laughs> yes, Don't worry, now it's is Leon bigger at that time. Some Patamu. 1.24 million chip 50, 50, 50. pot means the world to Mikita Badzi Akuski, but a mere flesh wound if Tony G can't collect it. And the flop is oh my ace, God. queen, oh my jack God. with two clubs. Bads with <laughs> outs. But he is a dog. Here, to us. Turns out 
turn card does oh not God, help the queen. Nine, ten. ten, king, queen. queen. Oh, take it back. He does pick up the nine. Feels like he's gonna hit. You deserve Doesn't it. help him immediately. Mm -hmm. After fall, the ice king. Him some added equity here. Can Makita connect? Nope. Okay. Game. Running eights. And now Tony G will find himself heads up against Stephen Chidwick mm -hmm. as what the great Belarusian bows out with a bronze want, medal. Third place here not much skill. <laughs> in the short deck main. Earning himself. I list. think Tony jams. I mean, if Tony raises. Okay. Wow, just rips it. In. Wow, and a snap call from Chidwick. Oh my god. What a spot. Tony's got Tony the best G. hand. Tony can no ship the tournament. Fun. Almost out of nowhere. It's a very slow start <coughs> to this heads up match. Bottom of range being dealt to both parties. All of a sudden, limp call from Chidwick. Tony with 62% equity. Half a million dollar page up. Tough to chop on that board. Unless it's what running boat for both. A six on the turn, King on the river would do it. Well, Chidwick. Seven outs once. 25%. He binks no. it. Brutal. <laughs> Queen of Clubs, corner pocket. Wow. Half a million dollars. Could have been in your pocket. Oh boy. <laughs> gone. On that river card. Time to drink up. Chip lead gone. You probably need a drink and loosen up a bit, huh? <laughs> probably fall asleep. Huh? I probably fall asleep. Fall asleep. It's okay, it's just a swing now. Oh, ace, queen, ace, oh, jack. Boy. These guys have just been ripping it in lately, Have a right? Edge here. All in of ace, queen. Is he going to call it ace, jack? Calls. Ace, jack. Tony's at risk. Well, well, well. Similar situation to earlier on, Nano, where Tony G had his man dominated. This time it's Tony with the kicker problems. Wow, wow. It's going to be tough to come back from that one. And a slight smile on Stephen Chidwick's face. On the Queen 9 6 flop. King on the turn. Chance. Can he hit a 10? He cannot, Nano. And Stephen Chidwick, after a third, a second, here in Madrid, finally gets himself a Triton title in the form of the 100k short deck main event. Beating Tony G for one million eight hundred thousand euros. What a week for that man.